there was campaign stop after campaign stop for both the presidential candidates and their running mates today as they continue to target key battleground states with just 11 days left until Election Day. I am the least. Following a less hostile final debate, today both presidential candidates spent the day making a final push on the campaign trail. With less than two weeks left before Election Day, President Trump started his day off at the Oval Office, talking up his restrained performance from last night. This was better. This is obviously a more popular way of doing it. And no, I think, you know, I wanted to play by the rules. I felt very strongly about it. The president then made his way to Florida, where he held two rallies tonight, the first in the villages. It was there he made this plea to women voters. Please, suburban women, please, please love me, suburban women. I want you to love me because I got rid of the regulation that's going to destroy your neighborhood. Although the president stressed he was joking, polls show Trump behind Biden among women. The president then ended the evening in Pensacola. Currently, the CBS News Battleground Tracker poll shows Florida as a toss-up between Trump and Biden. We don't have to be held prisoner by this administration's failure. Meanwhile, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden spent the day in Delaware, where he outlined how his administration would address the coronavirus crisis, which includes providing free vaccines to every American. Biden also continued criticizing the president's handling of the pandemic. We make up 20 percent of all the deaths worldwide. If this is a success, what's a failure look like? But tonight, nearly 52 million Americans have already cast their ballot in early voting, according to the U.S. Election Project. And that includes Vice President Mike Pence, who alongside his wife voted in their home state of Indiana Friday morning. The vice president then took to the campaign trail in Ohio and Pennsylvania, where he touted Trump's performance in last night's debate. He was up there opposite the stage of 47 years of all talk and no action, and Joe Biden was facing promises made and promises capped. CBS News polls show Ohio may still be anyone's win, but in Pennsylvania, Biden holds a slight edge over Trump by merely 7%. Vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris spent her day in Atlanta at a voter mobilization event. There, she once again called out the president for failing to condemn white supremacy. We need a president who acknowledges systemic racism, who acknowledges the history of America. But tonight, Georgia is another battleground state that CBS polls show is also too close to call. And the campaigning continues into the weekend. The president is expected to cast his vote in West Palm Beach tomorrow before heading to North Carolina, Ohio, Wisconsin. Former Vice President Biden has stops planned in Pennsylvania. In the newsroom, Leslie Marine, Juan, back to you. All right.